Welcome everybody. Um, I just wanted to show you guys a shoe that, um, I I guess it was delayed. I don't I don't really know what's going on with Nike. Um, if you've been trying to keep up with their boots, um, they're not really releasing in traditional ways. I mean, they're not even really um, announcing uh, the release when they're releasing them. If they release them, you just kind of have to be on their website um and checking i know for the ones that have been backed up have been the temples of course um they just put out the shadow pack i'm not gonna get my hands on those just yet i would say um i'm waiting for the red ones to come out players are already wearing most of the boots but of course they're gonna get those to them first before they release them so i kind of feel like i don't think it's a manufacturing problem i still don't believe that i think it's just shipping so um, because like soccer.com which is big here in the US definitely is advertising them a lot of these boots and but then they say that they're not getting them to like July or, or June or something like that so this boot right here this is the Phantom GT2 Elite um, in the laser orange black colorway um, I seem I see this um, boot on players and it was just a shoe that I'm like I don't really like the Phantom all that good. It's not the best boot, but it, it gets the job done. Um, I feel like if you wear it um, and you get used to it, it could be a good boot for you. But if you're not, because it, it does run that little quarter of an inch big. So you kind of have to adjust to that a little bit. But I mean, once, once you wear it and break it in, which is another thing, it is a little bit hard to break in, harder than other boots for sure. Like definitely... You can't just throw them on and, and play like you could with like a Mercury or a Temple even. Um, so this is a shoe if you're gonna if you're interested in the Phantom GT2 or even the one. Um, just know that you have to. This is what I do. I wear my boots while I'm you know training, doing a little workout in the house, and I'll do that for like a week. You know, work out five to six, seven days before I even take them um, to the pitch, of course. Um, that that usually is enough for me anyway um, to be broken in so that's a good thing um, just a little tip you know for you guys if you guys work out it's not even I'm not even doing a soccer workout I'm literally doing my at home body exercise and stuff like that so um, that gives me enough it warms up the boot enough it'll mold start molding to my foot and then I, when I play with it I don't experience really uh, many blisters because this will give you blisters and it will hurt your heel even even once they're broken in and you play with them that first time you'll still feel some sort of discomfort but once you break it in it's a very comfortable shoe um, and it's flying it of course the last of Nike's you know flying it so um, if you're still into the flying in material this is the definitely the way to go um i still love the mercurial 13 i think i, I like it better than the 14 actually the super, uh, and then the superfly um eight no seven superfly seven and the mercurial 13 i like those better than the eight and the 14 uh maybe it's just the flying it i don't know but I, I i really didn't like the 12 and the six that much they were okay but the 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 seven and the 13 were really good um, but let's talk we're enough talking about the old shoes and here we go look at this 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 thing is beautiful i would say it is very very nice i love the color again it has to the phantom gt has to be a boot that you personally already like have tried it in order to get it um if you've worn the one you know what you're getting with the two basically the same boot there's nothing different that, that's really weird and i always i always wonder like what what is it about um the company that has to make a shoe run big or run small like the Copa Mundial, for instance, from Adidas. Why do you have to size down a whole size? Why not just make the size the nine and a half for me, for instance? Why can't that just be the ten and a half? I don't know. So 
I mean, for for the Phantom GT, I feel like it runs so narrow. I feel like maybe that's the reason why. I don't know, but it's it's a it's a pretty good boot, I would say. I don't know if it's better than like the Phantom Venom. Definitely, I like it better than the Vision. The Vision to me was just a a, a weird boot. It was like put together. You could tell they just wanted to release it, get it out there, um, and try to get it some hype. Uh, but definitely wasn't a boot um, that I really thought that I would enjoy playing in and I have a few pairs and don't get me wrong it's okay but it's just not anything that I would keep consistently wearing over and over um, and yeah I try to match uh, my shirt with the orange and then this has a little bit of gray here eh, obviously not the spot on but you know kind of you get the idea um, should have used red maybe I, I really like this red. I like this combination I like this I do have another one that another boot that it reminded me of right here this one the um, Superfly 6 um, but again it's the the orange here is the same but this is a lighter orange on top um, yeah I like it I gotta break it in of course and then I'll be wearing these probably a lot I'm, I'm more right now I'm just more of a blackout type of boot guy right now that's what I wear mostly and in more about like the leather the champos the, the premiere even I really like the premiere um, or I'll just wear a blackout uh, Mercurio um, but these I, 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 I do appreciate the texturing doesn't really do anything or add anything to me but um, it's just a very light shoe I love that it, the flying it still um, I guess I got used to flying it um, and uh, yeah I haven't seen many reviews of this boot I, again Nike's been backed up with their shipping and um, I feel like that's why um, things haven't been released but hopefully they can figure this out like this COVID has really messed everything up for um, a lot of things even for some of my favorite foods not just boots not just my favorite sneakers foods I cannot get spicy uh, chicken tenders or anything like that anywhere I don't understand I go to Culver's none Popeyes none I, I, I don't understand and <laughs> It's making me really mad because I just want my sneakers, I want my boots to arrive, and I want my spicy chicken. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know how I got here talking about um, spicy chicken about when I'm talking about boots. Anyways, man, I'm going to end this video here, obviously. But I just wanted to show you guys that I did get this in. Um, I really like it. I can't wait to play in it. Um, and again... If you haven't tried a Phantom GT at all, I recommend you trying to go into a store and try it on a pair first to see if you would even like it because it, it does have that little bit of room that people might not like, especially if you like your, your tight boots um, that are, you know, really tight to your foot. This isn't going to be the boot for you because you just got that little bit of, and you can fit, you can feel it. it's noticeable. It doesn't affect your play. Like, I can still shoot, I can still kick a ball, you know, everything. It doesn't affect it, but you can, when you're wearing it, uh, it's very weird because then once you heat, once it heats up and it almost feels like it's right there and it molds your foot, but sadly, it's just a little bit long. Um, but yeah, let me know, guys. Are you, is this a pair that you guys want to get? Are you waiting for it? If not, go to Nike right now. I think there's a few pairs left. If not, try soccer.com. Try your other, all your, I don't know, where, where do people order from? I don't really know. I just get myself from Nike because that's all that review. Uh, but I'm hoping that, you know, we can get all our stuff on time when it's supposed to for the future. Um, these will just be in the rotation for my rec soccer games and stuff like that so guys with that being said i know i talk too much but you know this is all i got this is what i like to do i like to talk about boots and i like to, like to talk about football and i like to talk about everything and anything um so if you're if you like that if you're new here uh go ahead subscribe like comment if you have any questions anything at all i'm not the best soccer player 
but if it's one thing I know, it's sneakers, it's boots, what's comfortable, what's not comfortable. So leave me a comment, shoot me an email, whatever you need. I answer everybody. Um, yeah. <laughs> With that being said, guys, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.